Hello, 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 and welcome back to Mr. Marlowe's online math class for sixth grade. Uh, today we're going to be looking at lesson number 23, Problems in Mathematical Terms. My learning target for the day is I can analyze an equation in two variables and identify the independent and dependent variables. So that's going to be the big thing with this lesson, is identifying what the independent variable is and what the dependent variable is. Um, so we're going to go over that. And it's pretty straightforward, but it can get a little bit tricky sometimes. So I'm going to help you guys uh, really kind of kind of um, nail down how to solve these, these problems. OK, so example number one. Marcus reads for 30 minutes each night. He wants to determine the total number of minutes he will read over the course of a month, he wrote the equation t equals 30d, or t equals 30 times d, to represent the total amount of time he has spent reading, where t is the total minutes and d is the total number of days. Okay, so if we look at just this equation here that is written, t equals 30 times d. So that means he reads 30 minutes a day, right? And so if we, over two days, say Marcus tracks his, his reading time over two days, I would plug a 2 in for d, I'd say 30 times 2 is 60. So he read a total of 60 minutes over two days. OK, so we want to figure out which variable is the dependent variable. All right, so let's take a look at that real quick. Our dependent variable, right, is the one that depends on what we plug into our equation. So, as I just said, if Marcus reads for two days, right, we know that D stands for days. So I plug in a two here. Okay. And we'd say that T is equal to 60. Now T depended on how many days we plugged in. So which variable is dependent t is the dependent variable okay because it depends on what we plug in here well this one says which variable is the independent variable well if t is dependent guess which one's going to be independent right d okay well let's think about that for a second and independent variable is one that can change, right? It's independent. It can do what it wants, okay? I can plug in a 1. I can plug in a 14. I can plug in a 35. I can plug in 6. I can plug in whatever I want because it's independent. It's the amount of days, the number of days that Marcus has been reading, and that can be any number that we want, 365. I don't care. It's independent. What's our independent variable? Our independent variable is D. Okay. So if Marcus read for five days, how many did it minutes did he read? Well, it's asking five days, right? How much time did he spend reading if he read for five days? Well, we know using our equation, right? that Marcus reads 30 minutes a day. D stands for days, so I can plug in 5 for D. Thirty times 5 is 150. So the time he spent reading was 150 minutes. Now, if Marcus read for 120 minutes, how many days did he read? 
well. I know that T stands for time, right? So anywhere I see a T, I'm going to plug in 120. And I want to isolate the variable D. D is being multiplied by 30, so I'm going to perform the inverse operation, which is division. 30 divided by 30 is just 1, which leaves me with just a D. And 120 divided by 30, well, that's 4. So, to read for 120 minutes, Marcus would have to read for 4 days. Okay, so this lesson is really all about the dependent and independent variables. That's what I really want you guys to get out of this, okay? The rest of this we pretty much know how to do at this point. Remember the dependent variable, right? It's the, usually the one that's isolated on the left side of the equation, okay? It's dependent. It depends on what we plug in for this variable here, okay? Which vari variable is the independent variable? It's the one that varies. The number of days can be one, two, three, or a million, okay? It's independent. It can be what it wants, all right? So this was lesson 23, problems in mathematical terms. The target for today was I can analyze an equation in two variables and identify the independent and dependent variables. If you guys have any questions, reach out to me on uh, Remind, email, or you can um, get a hold of me during my office hours on Zoom. Thank you very much, and have a great day.